Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna get ready for the gym and try out a new pre-workout from Protein World. So make sure to subscribe. Hi guys, so I showered earlier. I washed my hands in a big pet peeve of mine. I might have to change my sweater because I don't know if I can deal. I also have a hole in the sweater too. Over here, I didn't even notice. That's what's wrong with buying stuff at outlet stores. You always get the defective stuff that you don't realize is defective until later. So I got this, I think it's actually like a Hanes outlet. It's not even a champion outlet, but for some reason they have a lot of champion stuff there. This is such a random story, but my mom had gotten me stuff there for Christmas one time, but I had a couple of returns to go back there. And I don't know, I just really didn't like the one lady that was working there because she gave me such an attitude about returning the stuff. Like, I had the receipt, shouldn't have been a problem, but yeah, I just didn't like how she was acting. So <laughs> I was like, I don't want to go back to that store again. I'm going to try to attempt my hair in a ponytail, and so I'm going to do, like, kind of my full face natural look. I do wear makeup to the gym. I see all the time, like, on women's fitness videos when people say, like, how do you work out with that much makeup on? But honestly, for me, whenever I work out, like, I like to look my best. Am I dressing and looking cute <laughs> for other people at the gym obviously not i don't know how to explain it. i feel like if i feel good then my workout's good or if i in my mind if i feel like i look good but i know like if i just go completely bare-faced which there are times like during the summer when i have a really nice tan i might just be like you know what the tan is serving i don't need any makeup on today i feel like if i look good i feel good if i feel good i look good i don't know so that was just my little rant i guess <laughs> about wearing makeup in the gym so as you can see, I already have my brows on from earlier, and I'm just going to set my face now with wet and wild powder. I'm going on a cruise in like less than two weeks, which is kind of scary because I feel like I'm not prepared for it at all. I know I have plenty of clothes, but I definitely feel like I want to get more. I don't know, this cruise is a little bit, not different because it's like every other cruise I've been on. I don't think I've ever been on one where we were on the boat, I want to say almost four days of just like sailing. Because I think the first day you obviously leave, so that's one day kind of. And then you have three days, I'm pretty sure, of just like sailing. So really, I shouldn't need as many outfits as I normally do if I'm just going to be on the boat. This little blush palette. I'm just going to use the blush. I don't want the highlighter because I'm going to be shiny from sweating. Usually on like a normal cruise when you're getting off the boat and going to an island, I definitely go through like multiple outfits just because I have like, my outfit of the morning once you get back second outfit that you're getting changed out of possibly a third outfit it's at least two outfits a day sometimes maybe three depending on what the situation is even though that sounds like a lot i don't think i ever overpack um there are sometimes i feel like i even cut it a little close i obviously like to have options i don't want to be like uncomfortable if i don't like an outfit or something i kind of forgot where i was just going i went in a little crazy with the blush <laughs> my face typically gets a little red so that was kind of dumb I just cleaned off the concealer on my lips and then I'm just gonna put this lip conditioner on from NYX and then I'm gonna go in with another gloss before I leave. But I'm gonna try Protein World's Summer Sessions pre-workout in a couple minutes. Just to take it before your workout, 30 minutes before, which I live less than 10 minutes away from the gym. So I wanna take it before I leave so that we're ready to go once I get there. But I have a feeling this hair is gonna cause problems. So I'm gonna wait until I'm a little bit closer to being ready i did share an unboxing the other day of protein world and basically this pre-workout just helps with like recovery and stuff like that and muscle fatigue so i'm gonna be up doing my cardio which is why i wanted to wait till today to do it because i'm not really i'm a little tired today so i could definitely use like a boost of energy right now but just a forewarning I am not going to film myself in the gym. Even though I film vlogs and stuff sometimes, if you've ever watched it, I kind of try not to do it with, pe <laughs> with people around me. I'm comfortable talking in front of the camera, but once there's an audience, <laughs> not even an audience, but once there's people around me, I'm like, okay, this is awkward. Most people probably don't care. But yeah, also, usually the gym is pretty loud. They have music playing. So I'll film after if I remember, what, like once I'm in my car. Um, oh my god, I would say I'm, I would film in the locker room, but um, I told my mom about this. I didn't want it to sound like I was making fun of this lady at all, but I've been going to the gym since maybe 2019, 2018. I don't know, I started going a lot in college, and then thankfully after college I continued. 
all of my years going to the gym i have never walked in on someone that was like completely naked i'm not even trying to sound creepy and the thing about walking in the locker room at my gym is like you walk in and then you kind of go around a corner quick so sometimes you might actually run into someone or you just don't know what's around that corner so i went in it, immediately i walked in and this lady was like bent over ass was in the air i told my mom like i've never gotten full-on moon before like she was bent over <sighs> yeah so that's why i um don't want to film in the locker room now either because i don't i don't know this lady might be in the background naked who knows okay i'm gonna wear this matching set from victoria's secret i'm just doing cardio i think this is gonna be my last time wearing the pants they're just not really the most comfortable and honestly not the most flattering either um so yeah i'm gonna I'm gonna pass on them. We'll give them one last shot. We always gotta have our hoops in though. I don't care what we're doing, where we're going. We got hoops on. And I'm gonna hairspray this cause he's getting frizzy. I put deodorant on earlier, but just in case I'm getting a little stinky. I use the Secret Clinical Strength cause I used to sweat so much. Thankfully, I've calmed down a little bit, but for most of my life, it was pretty bad. I think like when I was a teenager, I was going through it and then I kind of grew out of it but I definitely still sweat a lot just not as much I always like to have some sort of body spray I don't like to wear anything too heavy obviously like a perfume because I know even for myself it can get like overpowering and in the gym when your sweat glands are opening and you smell it even more so usually I would just do some sort of like bath and body but recently I've been really loving Ariana, the sweet like candy one. I came across it at Ulta and then I saw that they had it in Burlington. So I picked up like two more there. So this is what it looks like. It just smells so nice. We'll just do two. And we're going to make our pre-workout. So I got my handy dandy shaker from the other day. And this is the Summer Sessions pre-workout in the flavor Summer Berries. So it says to mix one scoop with 300 milliliters of water. They gave me a little scoop right here. Let's try it. Okay, that's really good. It's sweet. I want to say like a berry lemonade almost. Like a um, strawberry lemonade. That's what <laughs> I'm trying to think of. But it's not like tart like lemonade is how I'm going to describe it. Maybe I'll have the Slender Blend for like a little post-workout snack later. So you guys can see. I don't know, in case you're interested. That's all I have left to drink, but yeah, this is what the color of it looks like. So I just took off all my lip gloss, so I'm gonna reapply that. And I'm probably just gonna wear, even though this is a really chunky dad type of shoe, the Adidas Falcons, they're honestly so comfortable. And even though they are kind of heavy, if you're running, I wouldn't recommend to wear them. But today I think I'm just gonna kind of do stair climber, elliptical, and maybe like 10 minutes on the treadmill. So for that, it's perfectly fine. If I'm ever doing like a heavy day on the treadmill, then yeah, no, they're just way too big and like clunky. They're not loud. It's just like you feel like Bigfoot almost with them. So I'm gonna fill up my water bottle and then head to the gym and I'll update you guys after how my workout went and how I feel about this pre-workout. I'm looking like a hot mess right now. My hair is sticking to my neck. I definitely had a lot more energy than I than I thought I would. I was kind of like bouncing off the walls at first. I'm like, yo, I'm hype right now. But yeah, it was a good workout. I'm definitely gonna keep using it. Don't forget to use my discount code PWMarissaO for 40% off your order if you decide to purchase. And I hope you enjoy.